Good morning. Assalamu alaikum. We are going to talk about written questions. It's the part one which dresses with the items of the two. An item is a question in a two. What are the frequently asked questions that are answered in this teaching session? They include what are the two components of written questions? What are the types of written questions? What is the difference among short answer question, short essay question, long essay question, multiple choice question and extended questions? What are the question words? Which question word is used in different types of written questions? There are two components of a question. One is a format and one is stimulus. Each written question, irrespective of its style, has a format and has a stimulus. Format is shape or design of an item of a tool, how it looks like. Stimulus is what is being asked in a question. This is very important to understand. It is not the test question or item which determines the level of domain of knowledge being assessed. Rather, it is the way any question is put which determines that it is a question of recall, comprehension or problem solving. It means any type of question may be MCQ can check problem solving. These are the different types of written questions which are commonly used. Short answer and short essay question consist of a single question or a theme with a series of questions. A long essay question consists of a question. One best type consists of a stem, lead in and options. Extended matching consists of a theme description, a series of options, a lead in a series of short cases. Another important thing is the length of the answer. The freedom which is provided to the student how much he can write in an answer. Short answer questions answered in one or two words or sentences. Short essay questions is answered in few paragraphs or one or two pages. Long essay questions is answered in more than few paragraphs or two pages. One best type. The correct answer is selected from options offered. In extended matching also the answer is selected. Because there are the series of short cases of scenarios are matched with the options available. Let me give you an example of short answer question. The two ways short answer question can be written. One in a form of a single question. Like this. What is the name of classic and serial of appendicitis? Or in a form of a statement followed by questions. Like a young man has developed acute appendicitis. Where will, the pa where will the patient have maximum tenderness in the abdomen? When is the patient with acute appendicitis operated? What will be the effect on TLC of the patient? Now, if you think of this thing, the answer to these questions is usually few words or one or two sentences. This is an example of a short essay question which is consisting of one question and it can be similarly a statement followed by two questions. Obviously when you are answering how do you explain shifting of pain to the right leg fossa or why is the pendulum mass formed, this cannot be answered in few words or a one sentence or two sentences. This is an example of long as a question. How will you manage the complications of acute appendicitis? This answer consists of few paragraphs. Paragraphs may instead be long, 
So the answer is usually more than two pages. This is an MCQ. A patient has developed acute appendicitis. What is then seen is used by the surgeon to operation call and here are the options. This is an example of a multiple choice question. This is the stem. This is the yield statement. This is the correct answer. These are the distractors. And these are the all options. These are the options. And if you see this thing, this is a recall question. Isn't it? Now, if you strike the same answer by changing the statement, the patient has history of shifting of pain to the right ear at fossa. The rest is same. It has become problem solving. So the stimulus has changed in the MCQ. Even you can raise the stimulus problem solving. If you write this. A female model returns is two piece swim sweet. The answer is this, and this possibility is a problem solving at a postgraduate level. These are the question words what, when, why, which, who, how, whose. When you add these question words to a sentences, they become questions like what, what is it due to appendicitis, when appendicectomy should be done, why is the treatment of pendicular mass conservative, which antibiotic is used in acute appendicitis, who described the bone tenderness sign of acute appendicitis, how we should manage a case of acute appendicitis, whose responsibility is to provide emergency care. What is asking about the information? When is related to time? When should be done? Why is the reason? Why this thing has happened? Why is the treatment will be more conservative? Choices. Okay, when you're choosing something, then you use the word which. Like many antibodies can be used in acute appendicitis. Who is usually when you're asking a name or a person? Who described? How is you talking about the method? How would you manage? Whose is not used that much, but it is usually describes the owner of the possession. So who and whose are same. When you're writing multiple choice question, a short answer question, usually the question is which is used are what, which, when, who. In short, essay question, long essay question, usually use question words are how, why. Thank you very much. I hope this helps you. Have a good day. Assalamu alaikum.